Hey everybody, it is your girl Genuinely Divine here coming at you today with a video all about Why do opposites attract by Zodiac Sign? Do you ever notice that sometimes when you meet somebody you're like dang this energy is just so strong It's usually because you guys have a connection it, that person possesses something that you don't have and that's usually because you guys are opposites in zodiac signs and therefore your energies are different so stay tuned and I'm gonna tell you sign by sign which sign is your opposite sign Okay guys, welcome back. So let's go ahead and get started with the zodiac signs. I'm gonna tell you guys, um, each um, zodiac sign, which sign is your opposite zodiac sign, lover or friend. So let's get started. We're gonna start out with Aries. Aries um, rules the first house, the house of self, um, independence and pioneering spirit. These are our leaders. Um, Aries um, are very independent. So their opposing sign would be Libra. Libra is the ruler of the seventh house. The seventh house is the house of marriage, partnerships, and just relationships overall, okay? Where Aries are independent, Libras are codependent. Libras like to have someone to cling to. They like to be in love. Aries like to be by themselves, individuals, okay? Um, moving on to the sign Taurus. Taurus is the ruler of the second house. The second house is the house of stability, um, material possessions and gains. Um, so Taurus, your opposing sign would be Scorpio. Scorpio is the ruler of the eighth house. The eighth house is the house of sex death, other people's money, and things of that nature. Where Taurus is really um, trying to um, establish stability with the physical things, with physical things, Scorpio, they want stability in the mind. So psychologically, um, Scorpios are constantly trying to grow in that area. Um, Taurus is all about stability and physical things, okay? Moving on to the sign Gemini. Gemini. Gemini is the ruler of the third house. The third house is the house of communications, siblings, and short distance travel. And so Geminis are really like the communicators. Like they like to talk, 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 talk. They love to talk a lot. So Gemini, your opposing sign is Sagittarius. Sagittarius is the ruler of the ninth house, the house of philosophical views, um, foreign lands, foreign travel, things of that nature, teachings of their father. So where Geminis are like the communicators um, Sagittarius are the explorers. They like to explore. So you guys get together. Um, instead of talking all the time, Gemini, Sagittarius is going to help you to go and explore something instead of chitter chattering all the time. Okay. <laughs> Moving on to the sign Cancer. Cancer is the ruler of the fourth house. The fourth house is the house of home, tradition, family values, and your mother. So cancers can be really nurturing and very emotional type people. They're like great people, you guys. So cancer, your opposing sign is going to be Capricorn. Capricorn is ruled by the 10th house. The 10th house is the house of careers. Um, yeah, like work, work, your work ethic in your career basically so where cancers are very emotional and nurturing Capricorns tend to be emotionless you know so 
Capricorns, you may want to get with a Cancer so they can show you how to love. Teach me how to love, baby, okay? <laughs> Moving on to the next zodiac sign, which is going to be the sign Leo. Leo is the ruler of the fifth house. The fifth house is the house of children and creativity. Oh, this is a great house. Leos are very warm-hearted people and they love popularity because they are attention-seeking people of course they would be they are ruled by the sun and all planets orbits around the sun yep okay so leo your opposing sign is going to be aquarius yay so aquarius is ruled rules the 11th house the 11th house is the house of friendships and social organizing organizations and things of that nature so you know like Aquarius people are all about originality so where Leo is all about popularity Aquarius is all about originality okay I think you guys would be great together because Aquarius can teach you Leo that it's not all about popularity it is about just being yourself your individual self ah uh, how great is that that is really cool I like those two. Nine, Virgo. Virgo rules the um, sixth house. I'm sorry, you guys. Virgo rules the sixth house. The sixth house is the house of health, routine, your daily routines, and things of that nature. Oh, yeah. Where this is kind of like a really, really um, semi-spiritual house as well. So in this house, this is where you, this is basically the house of service. Um, how you, the service to others, you know? So Virgos are really like servants, basically. And more of a servant to the external world. So that's a great thing. Your opposing sign, Virgo, is going to be the sign Pisces. Pisces is the ruler of the 12th house. The 12th house is the house of illusion, disillusion, a very, very spiritual house. Um, this house, Pisces, where Virgos are really, really um, servants to the external world, I would say that Pisces are unselfish servants of god they are very spiritual pisces are in this world but they're not of this world so this is my analysis you guys on why do opposites attract so now you guys can see where you guys can help each other out because usually opposite signs when they do get together they can definitely teach their partner something amazing wherever you are weak and your partner is strong you guys can learn from one another and it makes the relationship very powerful very magnetic and it, it usually lasts for a very long time but sometimes in these type relationships when uh when they're bad they can get really really bad okay because you guys are so different that you don't really understand but as long as you guys work and keep a common ground relationships usually will flourish although there are other things factored into um into your relationship love compatibility more than just your son the sun sign is a huge start so i hope you guys have learned something and i hope you guys enjoy so remember to like and subscribe and until next time i wish you much love peace and many many wonderful 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 blessings see you